I'm ready for it. Awesome. Let's go. Why? What's wrong with talking loud? <laughs> All right. So matching volume, tonality, if somebody's a loud talker. Be a loud talker. Yeah. And if they're more subdued. Oh, be more subdued. Slow it down. Absolutely. <laughs> Make sure you say your words correctly. <laughs> Why yeah. do we want to do that, John? Maybe there's better alignment than in the conversation because it resonates with your audience. Yeah. What's interesting, too, is sometimes you'll notice people that are loud talkers are also hard of hearing. <laughs> Seriously. They are. There, there's people I talk to here in the office who are loud talkers, and part of the problem is they're hard of hearing. Mm. And so you're also trying to make sure you're heard in their circumstance. But for somebody more subdued, be more subdued. It's okay. Where this really comes into play is on the phone. Yep. It's amazing how we don't really think about the other person. We're thinking about what we say. And if you just take a step back and when the other person is speaking, say to yourself, are they loud? Are they soft? Do they speak quickly? Do they speak slowly? And then try your best to match that. Because when you match it, then they feel more open with sharing things with you that you yeah. wouldn't otherwise get. Well, and they also feel like you're hearing them. Yes. Because you're falling in alignment with who they are. Yeah, it goes back to the Covey thing of are you listening with the intent to respond or are you listening to understand and connect? Uh, so Good point. Hey, thank you. I like it. Once in a while, I get I one. Know, that was a good one. Hey, there we go. All right, everybody. Happy selling. All right, take care.